There is a very famous folk song from Hunan. It's called the Liu Yang River, Liu Yang He. Liu Yang He, Wang Ge Le Jiu Dao Wan. Means the Liu Yang He turned the nine terms. Actually, I was growing up on the ninth term of this river. It's exactly in the center of Hunan. I was questioned by my father, "Do you know Nu Shu? Nu Shu is in Hunan Deep Mountain. This language was singing from only mother to daughter, within the women, in a very sacred language invented by the women. But it's disappearing." So I decided to use my camera to shoot all those grandmothers and daughters and sisters. And later on, I put this film synchronizing with the Philadelphia Orchestra together. We talked about the harp quite a bit and how much he loved the instrument. I said, "Why? Why not? Maybe make a harp a solo instrument." The most feminine instruments transforming as most powerful storyteller with this uh, ancient tradition of sacred language of uh, women. I'm trying to take in what Tan is telling me about this sacred language and these women. Many women were in arranged marriages at an age of 12, 13, and they never saw their families again. This was a way for them to express themselves. Tan Dun knew how to translate the specificity of the Chinese culture and music culture into a language that the Western world could understand. I listened to ancient Chinese music when I was growing up, that it's still part of me. He definitely embodies the fusion of East and West. Chinese bells, or stones, or from hands into the bowl to make the, the plucking sound of, of the trip, taking pieces of newspaper, tearing them at different speeds, different intensities. These are all sounds that, that he's created just with found instruments. We are playing along with women who are singing in this language, but they're not there in physical form. But you feel they're there, and you feel what they were going through through their stories.